Number one says that Andre is in the band and he is conducting an experiment to determine if high school students find listening to classical music or listening the, to the sounds of the ocean more calming. He selects five students at random from the band to listen to classical music. Then he selects five people at random from the swim team to listen to the sounds of the ocean. So what's problematic about the way Andre selected his groups? Um, so he's not selecting them at random. Um, and he, I mean, he's selecting at random from the band and then he's selecting at random from the swim team, but he's not selecting at random from the high school. So that's going to impact um, the answers and not be representative of the whole high school. You want to survey 20 of the 159th graders to get their opinion on the school's new schedule. Which of the following methods is most likely to lead to a sample that's most representative of the 159th graders? So choose 20 ninth graders from your first period class. Not likely to be representative of all ninth graders because that could be like an AP class, an accelerated class, something, a gym class, and that's going to not be representative of everyone. Choose the first 20 ninth graders from an alphabetical list, not going to be representative. Select 20 students at random from the ninth grade. Well, students at random from the ninth grade, it's going to be representative. And then select five students at random from ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Well, that's not going to represent ninth grade since we've got 10th, 11th, and 12th graders in there. So C would be the correct option there. Number three, the United States Senate has two senators from each of the 50 states. Select all methods that would select a sample of 10 senators at random from the entire Senate. So we're selecting all that work here. So take the 10 senators from the five largest states. No, that's not representative of everyone, only representative of the largest states. Take 10 senators who have served in the Senate the longest. No. Place the names of all 100 senators on individual slips of paper placed into a bowl, thoroughly mix it up, and then select 10. Yes, everybody has an equal chance of being selected there. Send letters to all 100 senators. Select the 10 that reply back the quickest. No, because there's a condition. So you're looking at who, who responds quickly, not at all of the people at random. E, number the senators 1 to 100. Use a random number generator to make a list of 10 random integers between 1 and 100. So that would be good. Number four, Jada is designing a study to determine whether mold grows faster in tap water or bottled water. To do this, she compares the growth rate of mold growing in a glass of tap water to the growth rate of mold growing in a glass of of bottled water. What type of study is she doing? So experimental because she changed a condition to see if it impacted or directly influenced the mold. And how could she make her study better? So she could make sure that other conditions um, were identical, such as water and room temp, um, kind of the um like light so lighting or whatever we think would impact but she can put them in identical rooms and then um she could also um whoops could also do multiple glasses or have multiple glasses of tap slash bottled water so you're not just looking at one glass you'd be looking at multiple glasses to see um, if it impacts all of them or not. Number five, what type of study would you conduct if you wanted to know how many miles a week on average students on the school's cross country team run during the summer? So a survey, you'd want to ask them. And this is because an observational study would be too difficult be too hard to just watch the entire cross-country team for the entire summer observing how far they run. 
Um, that would be entirely too difficult. And experimental isn't necessary um, because we aren't worried about the impact of something on the outcome. So we're not worried about how one person does something impacts the number of hours that they run. We're just wondering how many hours they run. So survey. Number six, describe the design of an experimental study that could determine whether you send text messages faster before or after exercise. So you could um, get to get a group, get a random sample of people, then split them into two groups. Um, one group you could have send a specific text. So maybe you say like 150 characters. The so one group, one group could, um, you could have send a 150 character text um, before they run or play basketball or whatever. So before they work out, then send the 150 character text after they exercise and record the times. And you could do for the second group, um, they could do something else. So then you could have, then for the other group, you could have them send a, again, the same size, so 150 character text um, before watching a movie and then after. And then record the times. So, and it, I mean, this part doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what this is as long as it's not some form of exercise. So have them send a text before doing something that is an exercise and then after and record the times and then you can compare.